After Manhattan prosecutors and Donald Trump's defense lawyers delivered almost 10 hours of closing arguments on Tuesday, the case is now in the hands of the jury. The former president, Donald Trump, is charged with 34 counts of falsifying business records to cover up an alleged affair with porn actress Stormy Daniels, and which could have influenced the 2016 presidential election. Presiding Judge Juan Merchan gave the 12 jurors their instructions this morning, then they went to work. During the day, the jury asked for testimony readbacks, which will take place on Thursday morning. The scene outside the courthouse was calm and somewhat jubilant throughout the day, with the New York City Police Department and FBI outnumbering Trump supporters who were penned off in the park. This was quite different from Tuesday, when famed actor and President Biden supporter Robert De Niro held a news conference to denounce Trump, which led into a shouting match with MAGA supporters. But this city is pretty accommodating. We make room for clowns. We have them all over the city. People who do crazy things in the street, we tolerate it. It's part of the city, it's part of the culture. But not a person like Trump who will eventually run the country. That does not work, and we all know that. Democrats, you are gangsters. 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 You you're a nobody! Your movies suck! You're trash! When he was a child in Mulberry Street, they called Bobby De Niro Milky. That was his nickname because he has white, milky skin because he's not an Italian. He's only 25%. And to the Italian people, 25% is an Italian. So when he was doing his acting roles on Mulberry Street, he's really trying to pretend to be an Italian person, which is actually an invader in Italian, in Italian slang. So he's a mamaluke and a mook. Earlier today, conservative artist Scott Lobedo, who is known for his patriotic work, was so angry with De Niro's remarks that he spent the night in his studio to recreate a scene from Raging Bull with the former president knocking out the Academy Award-winning actor. You know, because I didn't get to confront him and express myself to him yesterday, so I said, I got to do something. And uh, that's part, that was a painting that was previously done, and somebody else's face was on it. So I'm in my studio last night, sketching, figuring ideas, and I look up. Bingo. Bingo. Bobby D's face has got to be on that knockout. Lobedo told APB News he could not sit by and let this just go away. I'm a conservative artist, and we don't want to change the art community and make it conservative. We just want our fair share, because for 35 years, 35 years ago, the, I saw how disgusting the art world was and how one-sided. And, it, you know, if you don't abide by the isms of their elitist club and you're a conservative Trump supporter, Republican, flag waver, you're not an artist. So I left them years ago, and I continued my battle promoting America and trying to get other conservatives to come out of the closet, per se, um, because they'd be humiliated and they lose their work as, as a conservative artist. So now, if you notice, we have the rappers coming out, artists, musicians. The director of my movie is now a conservative. The, the studio is conservative. So it's a new thing that's changing. You know, art changes, you know, changes society. It's a fact through history. And I'm not going to do it by myself, but maybe I did partake in waking people up to come on out. Don't be afraid. If you are an artist, you express yourself from your heart, not from someone's programming you. Jury deliberations resume on Thursday morning. He gets in, I can tell you right now, he will never leave. He will never leave. You know that. He will never leave.